today we will try to find out the repeatability right there are different types of repeatabilities one is the, by means of standard deviation another is by means of relative standard deviation and third one is pooled standard deviation and pooled relative standard deviation all these things we will try to find out today right okay we will see first repeatability right now for repeatability we have to take data right some dimensions we will take so x is the variable it has got units say kg per meter cube or centimeter square anything whatever you may call it as i'm just giving a general name units then what we will do is we will find out the number of data that we are going to measure so first day we will measure five data second day four data like that we are going to measure then we will see the data right so first day we have taken five data sir huh? second day we have taken four data as it is and five data again and four data and here i have taken five data right three five so i let me make the correction here i'll make the correction right okay right now then what we will do is we will find out the mean mean is this x bar in this formula x bar no is there so this is the standard deviation formula standard deviation formula is square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square x is the values x values are all the x values here for each value i take the difference from the value to the mean and then squaring it adding it that is sigma value divided by n minus 1 n minus 1 means this is n1 for the first day n is 5 for the second day n is 4 like that okay so then we will see what we are doing. we have calculated or not right so this is the standard deviation i found the formula please not uh, we are not uh, going to do a big calculations for this here all we need to do is we just i just remove it right i just remove it also right i am going to put here average e v e r a g e average i am going to select this data right then i got it that's all i am just going to copy this forward right okay now here what i am uh, going to do is i am going to put std standard deviation standard deviation dot sample because this is sample only no i will just take this data and close it putting it here and i am going to copy it here okay so i am using this formula by simply using a cell click right and what is rsd we will try to find out right so we are going to find out rsd relative standard deviation formula is nothing but sample standard deviation divided by mean that is this divided by this so that is what i have given here c12 by c1 what i can delete it and equal to this divided by this that's all and i have to copy this i can delete and copy and i can copy this also right now right same value and getting so we have calculated standard deviation and relative standard deviation right now we have to take the percentage that's all we will take the percentage percentage is into 100 means 4.8 right okay this is the now then now we will find out the pooled values repeatability pooled values right for pooled values what i am doing is standard deviation i am just copying it these values and uh, i am going to find out n minus 1 because you know number of data is 5 for this column so 4 for this four data therefore 3 and 5 data is 4 5 data is 4 and 4 data is 3 right you can verify it here you can see it here number of data right okay five data are there therefore take an n minus 1 4 four data are there therefore n minus 1 3 right okay then what we will do is we will try to find out n minus 1 square that is n minus 1 is here four yes is here this into square of this that is what is given here right okay so i already delete this and then try to find out again once more here for you is equal to n minus 1 star this power 2 right and i'm just going to copy it for all okay then what i will do is i will do the next calculation repeatability multiple days how do i get it right 
0.4154. I'm getting this here, right? So this is n minus 1 s squared. See this formula here. Full distance deviation. And formula is sigma of these values, n minus 1 s squared numerator, divided by denominator is sum of this. n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 minus 5 is 18, right? Okay. Now the calculation details I'm giving here. You can find out, see this calculation. So the numerator is 3.1059. There's nothing but the summation of this, right? And the denominator is 18. There's nothing but the summation of this. And I'm getting this value, right? So what I will delete it, and then I'll get the same value. See whether we are getting the same 4.4154 or not, right? I'll delete. Right? Equal to sum of these values. Right? And then here is equal to sum of this n minus 1 values. Right? And here I take the square root of this divided by, I will put the open bracket first, divided by this to the power of square root is 0 0.5 here. Right? So 0 0.4154, I got the answer here. Right? Same value in the denominator. Next, what we will do is we will try to find out the next value that is relative standard deviation pooled. Right? We have found out three values one is standard deviation, relative standard deviation, and uh, relative standard deviation. Uh, Repeatability that is multiple days pooled standard deviation and pooled relative standard deviations. We have to find out. Okay. So standard deviation, relative standard deviation, and pooled standard deviation. We have found out. We have to find out pooled relative standard deviation. The formula is same except that I am using relative standard deviation in terms of ordinary standard deviation. You will see the values here. So mean is written here. I just copied it from this table, from this, this row. Okay. And then I have taken this RSD also now. RSD also, I am copying it from here. Let us find the deviation. Where is this? This value, right? This value is here. And now I am going to find out n minus 1 s squared. Just like that, I have found out here now. I will find out here also. n minus 1 RSD squared. So I will remove it, do it for you. Right? Is equal to, right? n minus 1 this star RSD squared, right? To the power of, right? I'm just going to add, uh, copy this for all the four. Okay. N minus one other square is found out. Then we'll see what is the next step. Okay. Then we will find out the RSD pooled. RSD pooled formula is this one. The summation of this divided by 18 square root. Right? I'll put it, I'll put the formula here. Is equal to, right? Summation I'll find out separately, right? Sum of this, right? And then that one I know 18, yeah. Therefore, I just have to find out equal to square root, I have to find it, yeah. So this divided by, sorry, sorry. This divided by 18 to the power of zero point. We got the same value, 0 0.4118. If I expand it, probably you'll get the complete value, 52, right? Okay. That completes uh, the portion. Almost all the values we have found out. Okay. We'll see here. Thank you very much. We have got every value. And uh, if you want to find out the percentage, multiply by 100. So related standard deviation, pulled value is 4.1%. Okay. Hope uh, you have understood. I will repeat again once more the steps. What we have done is we have taken the data for five days. For each day, we have found out the repeatability. That is nothing but the standard deviation. And then relative standard deviation is nothing but standard deviation divided by mean value. So percentage is nothing but 100 uh, multiplied by 100. You get the percentage relative standard deviation. But we are not going to use percentage at all. Uh, only for a statement, uh, we will use it. Otherwise, we will not. And uh, repeatability pooled, we are going to find out for each day, right? Pooled means what we will do is find out the degrees of freedom for each day. And for all days put together, we have to find out the repeatability using this formula, right?
square root of summation of n minus 1 is square divided by summation of n minus 1. That is number of data each day minus number of days. Okay, that is what we have done. And then we have found out repeatability 0.4153 milligrams per liter using this formula. And then relative standard deviation pool we found out using the same relation except that instead of standard deviation we are using relative standard deviation and I am finding it out. Please go through as many times as you want so that you will be able to master it. Thank you very much.